seen one, take one with Youngblood. Yo, what's going on GQ? It's Youngblood and these are my essential items. First up is my pink socks um, that are here and we have a lovely example. Um, yes, I love pink socks. I first put them on just because I wanted something that I could wear every day that kind of make me stand out a bit. So I never take them off, like legitimately. They basically should be tattooed. I would tattoo them if I could. I wear them on a beach, in a bath, in the shower, on a run. Yeah, man, pink socks. Next up is my gold chains, man. I never take these off. This is like a St. Christopher that my nana gave me after she died. That's actually been through World War One, which is crazy. Her dad had it, so it was in the trenches and stuff. I was like, that's crazy. So it'll keep me safe when I'm on like flights and buses and boats. Thank you, Nana, for keeping me safe. I hope you're all right up there, causing trouble. Yorkshire tea! Pass me the tea, man. Always Yorkshire tea, essential as hell. You just can have a cup of tea no matter what mood you're in. If you pass your exams, if your album goes to number one, if your goldfish dies, just a perfect thing. And I'm from Yorkshire, so you got it's a very specialist tea brand. I would teach you how to make one if you want. It's kind of a bit of an art. You put your tea bag in, you put your hot water in, you let it brew for about a minute. You squeeze the spoon onto the tea bag so you get all the tea out of it. Little splash of milk, two sugars, take it up to bed in the morning, starts your day off. Tea bags. Inhaler, I've got really bad asthma. So like, I give everything on stage, man. I always try and be as energetic as I possibly can. But then I got off stage, I'm like, <gasps> I sound like um, the penguin off Toy Story. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? When it's like, Woody. Then I just take this and I'm fine. I actually need it right now. Good. What's up, nerds? Eyeliner. I love wearing eyeliner. I love wearing makeup. I just like the way I feel in it. When you first started wearing eyeliner? Um, I was actually really young. I remember going to the school disco once and my mum was straightening my hair and I was painting my nails black and I had eyeliner on and I went in a Nirvana t-shirt and a skinny pair of jeans and my teacher was like, what are you doing? I was like, you wish you looked this good. So I was like to a teacher at nine or 10. I don't think makeup should just be aligned to one gender. I think no matter what, you can express yourself. If you want to wear makeup, if you want to wear a chicken suit, if you want to just run about naked at my show, you can. Rock and roll, express yourself. <laughs> and speaking of gender fluidity, sir, pass me my dress. This is essential to me, man. I've been wearing this on stage. My Victoria's Secret 90 with my mesh top. I just feel like I look good in a dress on stage and it makes me feel sexy. Just because I'm a man, biologically, doesn't mean I can't wear a dress. And I hate the way we've put boundaries on ourselves. It's like, women wear dress because this accentuates body. That means woman can make baby. It's like, fuck that, man. That is so medieval. Just like, wear a dress if you want. Wear whatever you like. Rock and roll, up all night. Ah. Thank you so much. So I wear my mesh top and I wear this. But getting it on's a nightmare. It's like, girls, I don't know how you do the cross. I'm always just like this. My, my tour manager's a girl, so she always has to help me into it. So, like, cheers, Jess, for that. Boom. Essential item. Tom, come on in. Tom is my videographer, photographer, therapist, all-time best friend, and he looks like a Renaissance painting. We Thank call him you. King Louis. He's from where I'm from. He's from Yorkshire. He's very essential to me. Yeah, what you oh, shooting? Yeah, on, maybe Tom? my little VHS camera. Yeah, Dom likes it. It's like a documentary. No, he's punk. I just love it, man, because Youngbud isn't just me. I am 50% of what Youngbud is. The other 50% is my community and, and things that go on inside it. It's that safe space where people can be. It's the two boys in the crowd who feel like they can kiss here because it's safe. Or it's the girl whose parents didn't understand that she wanted to shave her head and tattoo her face. 
but here she feels like she can be accepted. Or last week, someone went through a transition and they feel like they can be themselves here. And I never want to miss a second of that. Do you know what I mean? It's like a baby's been born. You don't want to miss a second of it growing. And this is where Tom comes way. in. Look, it's a bit of a vortex in it. It's like, I'm filming you while you're filming me. Right, get out of here. Thank you, Tom. Everyone clap for Tom. Everyone at home. Next up, Creepers. My favorite style of shoes ever. I was obsessed with the Teddy Boy movement, the fashion in the 50s and the 60s. I just loved how they look, man. They look so cool. And I don't know, I just, they're my favorite shoes. They're just part of Youngblood's look. You know what I mean? It's like pink socks, chains, creepers, stripes, and a dress. Oh, I put on another pair of shoes. I feel like I'm cheating on my partner. You know, it feels weird. Get some creepers, they rock. So I tried to bring a puppy into the building, but they won't let it in. I love dogs. They just lick you and give you cuddles and shit. I just li literally wish I had a puppy right now to be like, ah, hello, Simba. But I don't, so I'm just like stroking an imaginary puppy. It's just like licking my face, like stop. Stop, man, stop licking me. They're a bit like me. I'm a puppy. Noel Gallagher said once, Liam Gallagher was a puppy in a world of cats. I've never related to a statement more in my life. Everyone just like, be serious, Tom, and I'm just like, woof. <laughs> Haribo's. Haribo Tan Fastics. It's like a German UK company from a place called Pontifract, and that's about like 20 minutes from where I grew up. And these sweets are like super sugary, I'll get them out. And what we do is a little trick for you. You just take one of these sweets, put it in the freezer, it gets freezing cold, it feels amazing in your mouth. I'm just not sweet enough, I'm too sour, so I've got to have sweets on me at all time. Look, it's weird. So you've got your dummies, you're a baby, you got your hippos, Coca-Cola bottles, but you just can't beat the cherries. Honestly, my favorites. Mmm. Finally. Mate, everyone's gonna think I'm so greedy and fat because I'd like like food. Chinese food. I think it's like a, a tradition that like, kind of I grew up with in my house. Friday night, if you've been good or had a good week, you'd like order Chinese food and watch TV. If I come home from a long tour, if I have a long show, just feeling the chopsticks in my hands makes me feel like I've done something right. Oh, what's my go-to order? I love beef Cantonese style with noodles and just a bit of duck. Tuck in, tuck in, man. Mmm. It's good. It's like street Chinese food. Honey, this is fucking good, actually. Mmm. Cheers, GQ. Those are my essentials. I hope you liked the video. Lots of love, hugs and kisses. Mwah.